Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Midjourney to create thumbnails for you on YouTube. If you're a total beginner, I'll show you how to get started on Midjourney. And if you're already signed up, then you could just skip to the later part of the video where I show you exactly how to use it. So first you're gonna wanna go to midjourney.com. And if you click on the link down below, you guys can get started. Just go ahead and create an account. And then from there, you could join the Discord channel. And so here's what the channel looks like. And the very first thing that I recommend you guys do is actually go to get started right here. And then just go ahead and message the Midjourney bot in private. This way you don't have to deal with all the other messages that are happening on the channel because normally you would go into one of these rooms right here and as you guys can see a bunch of people are already using it so yeah this is a great place to get inspiration on some of the prompts that other people are using but yeah i recommend just go ahead and message the midjourney bot yourself that way you'll be able to talk to the midjourney bot and as you guys can see all the pictures that i've generated in the past are going to be on here it's a very good way to keep track of all your stuff because if you were to do it on the channel then it's going to get lost in all the other pictures but basically how midjourney works is you just have to go ahead and send an message and type in the slash button and then imagine. And then once you press enter, it's going to go ahead and ask for a prompt right here. And so this is where you can ask for anything. And one way that you can actually get really good prompts on Midjourney is to actually use ChatGPT4. This does cost money. I think it's about $20 per month, but it's very worth it by itself. I mean, ChatGPT4 can do a lot for you. Now just create Midjourney prompts. We have other videos on this channel that will teach you about ChatGPT. So feel free to check those out. But basically on ChatGPT4, you have access to plugins. And the one that helps you create prompts on Midjourney Midjourney is called photorealistic. So right here, you can see it says generate photorealistic prompts for Midjourney. So if I go ahead and activate that, I can go ahead and say create a Midjourney prompt to create a picture of a dog that looks like Elon Musk. And now as you guys can see, it says used photorealistic. So it used the plugin to create prompts. And as you guys can see, it's very, very detailed. So they're saying hyper realistic photography. They're even including the lighting. So it wants to be soft front lighting as well as the camera used to take the picture. So yeah, I could literally just go ahead and copy and paste this into my mid journey. So let's go ahead and just try it out and see what it comes up with. So these are the pictures that it came up with. I don't think these look very much like Elon Musk. So I would have to probably change up the prompt a little bit, but these are really good photorealistic prompts. And if I like any of them, I can upscale it. So this picture would be considered one. This would be considered two. This would be three. And then this would be four. So right here in the options, you have U1, U2, U3, and U4. This is going to upscale it. So this basically means that you're going to get a bigger version of that. And then V1, V2, V2, V3, and V4 is basically getting a variation of that. So because I chose V4, it's gonna now do a variation of this picture right here. And I could also just click on this for it to regenerate the image. So now, as you guys can see, it created some different variations. They all look very similar. So I'd probably just go for an upscaled version. And yeah, I think the main differences on this would be the nose of these dogs. Yeah, overall, it looks very, very realistic for a photo. Another thing that you can do on Midjourney is you can actually upload an image of your own. So let's say I just go ahead and take a screenshot of this top picture right here. And then all I have to do is just upload that picture onto the chat. And once I send that message, it's going to go ahead and send that as that. And so now what I could do is I can go ahead and type in slash prompt. And then now for here, I would just have to click and drag this image into the prompt. And now as you guys can see, it gives a link to the image. So then now I can basically alter this image however I want. So let's say I want to have Elon Musk in the background. I can press enter and then now I'll see what it comes up with. So basically it's going to use this picture that I uploaded and then add Elon Musk in the background. So now that you know the basics of how to use Midjourney to generate images, I'm gonna now talk about how you can use it to generate thumbnails for your YouTube channel. So for most people watching this video, I'm assuming that you're trying to create a faceless YouTube channel. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and take Top Cars TV as an example. And if we look at some of their most popular videos, we can get some ideas on what type of videos we can make. Let's say I wanna make something like this. So top best canceled cars. And let's say I just wanna change it up a little bit and make it better. So what I did here was I went on ChatGPT and I went ahead and said, hey, I'm making of a YouTube video titled top 10 coolest cars that were never released. And then I asked if it can give me a list of cars to include in the video. So boom, it gave me a bunch of these cars to add to the video. From here, all I have to do is just take this, for example, and then I can copy this and then add it onto Midjourney. So boom, I went ahead and I just put four GT90, 1995, and I got these pictures right here. Let's say I really like these two right here, so I can go ahead and just upscale these. And boom, now that it's upscaled, I have a bunch of different options. I can vary it, so I can make a strong variation. I can make a subtle variation. 
application. I can also upscale it even more. For this, I'll probably zoom out by a little bit. So I'll go ahead and click on this. So now it's giving me some zoomed out versions. I can go ahead and choose from whichever one that I like out of this one. And if I like the image, I can go ahead and click on web right here. And then now I can go ahead and click on this. And that's basically gonna download it onto my computer. So now I can go ahead and go onto something like Photoshop and I can go ahead and drag that in and then just upscale it some more. And from here, I probably just have to add some text. So from here, I can go onto ChatGPT again and I can ask it for some power words that they put on the thumbnail. So here they gave me a list of some of the best words that I can put. I kind of like this one. So I'll put this one hidden gems. So let's see how that looks. I'll go ahead and go to my text tool and then put it in gems. And then I can go ahead and enlarge in this and boom. So that's how that kind of looks right now. Maybe I can also add an arrow to it. This I could just find online anywhere. So boom, I could do something like that. And yeah, that would pretty much be my thumbnail. I think this looks pretty cool. And I think it definitely would perform better than this video right here. And if I want, I can always just A-B test all the different thumbnails. So I can put all of these words and try them out. I would probably mess around with putting something like prototype or I can put forbidden. I think that's actually a higher impact word that I can use. So I could just replace this with forbidden. And yeah, so I could just create a bunch of different versions like that and then A-B test them on YouTube. So yeah, as you guys saw, Mid Journey can be very useful for helping you come up with cool thumbnails. It doesn't have to be too complex, especially if you're starting a automated YouTube channel. With these, you don't have to include your face in them. But yeah, we'll leave a link down below if you guys wanna check out Mid Journey as well as some of our other videos that will teach you how to use ChatGPT. And yeah, I hope you guys got some value out of this video. We spent a lot of time creating videos dedicated to new entrepreneurs as well as content creators. So if that's you and you're interested in that kind of content, then yeah, please be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you can see whenever we upload a video. Thank you guys so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.